Good afternoon, YouTubers. Today, I'm going to discuss more about the ladybug project that I'm working on. So, I sealed the bottom of this ladybug. Um, and I figured I'd show you what it looks like. And, uh, again, I'm going to lift it up, tap on it. You can see it dries solid. So, this is, uh, this ladybug, I think it's about five inches. Uh, let's see here. This one yeah, this one's about four and a half inches. Yeah, uh, it's hard to show it from the camera, but there it is, four and a half. And of course I have it somewhat lined. Oops. Maybe that's a lot better. Yeah, this is definitely four and a half. And this is one of the baby ladybugs. I don't know where the other one is. Uh, apparently they escaped. Probably went out looking for food. Um, so this is the bottom of it too. And <clears throat> I'm gonna sign the bottom along the edges maybe along the side here and seal it um, at any other time someone could paint a mural here like a mini mural oh that's the other thing the better way to show measurements well that's 12 inches so you could you could subtract so you see it's really more like four and a quarter Actually, make it more accurate. Close to four and a half. Um, so that's the story. Oh, and if I see that, I tap on it. You'll see. So that's what happens when you make paper mache ladybug. And the next one I'm going to work on is the elephant. Um, and there are some designs where they show the trunk pointing down. And it's got like a, there's no curve right here where I'm pointing my finger. It's just one big downward loop. Um, that's one design you can make. kind of did that with this ladybug here. And, <clears throat> huh. well, the big ladybug, that I, the other one that I made, which is flatter, which is more like this pattern, is in its drying station right now. So I'll have to show that to you later. But this uh, is something I made yesterday. This is an apple leaf. It's still drying. And in terms of length, well, this this is a good five and a half inches. And it's uh, about three inches. I'm even going to make close to three inches. I'm going to be making a bigger one of this as well for... Uh, the bigger ladybugs but the reason why I did that this one is you can put the uh, baby ladybugs here it acts as a nice display and I'm going to show you a trick when you make this uh, and it's still drying you can put it a piece you can put it up on a piece of paper like this and the paper will absorb the moisture and it will help this dry a lot faster so this should be done or dried out uh, by late, late tonight because I made this late, late last night. So it takes about a day to dry. So I think I made this one about, uh, I probably made this, well, I probably applied this layer around 12 midnight. So I can't expect any results until tonight. Um, basically tomorrow morning this will be a hundred percent dry and some people blow dry it um, you still need to let it dry a day because it's just how mother nature works when you let this dry you have the uh, for the day all the pockets of moisture are released and then after that this binds together there's a process that goes with that, and you can't really switch it around. 
Um, <clears throat> now I do have an infirmer, uh, what do they call it? Uh, well, I don't know what they call it, but a baby hospital. Um, so you can see here the moisture. And this is what it looks like when it's completely dry. And this is almost dry. This is almost dry. This needs more drying. That needs more drying. That needs more drying. And then I'm going to seal the bottoms of these. And uh, <clears throat> the ladybug's happy because she says she's got six more brothers and sisters. Well, I got news for you, buddy. There's six more coming. I'm making about 12. I'm going to be making about 50 of these um, over the next uh, week. Takes time, but that's okay. I have time. And uh, mommy, oh, he's going on top. Oh, I want to show you something else with ladybugs. I just realized. <clears throat> you know, if you're doing yard work and you got a bunch of branches and you're an artist like me, it's actually a, a good thing. Um, I had this branch for about a year. It was just very unique. And by the way, um, that's silver paint. I'm creating a silver wood. But the silver paint is for uh, waterproofing. I actually have indoor-outdoor silver paint. But I just wanted to show you, you can actually take a real branch, a real twig, from your wanderers of the world. Ooh, look at that. You can do anything. We're artists. We can make anything. Maybe we can't do anything, but just to show you here, we get this. Oh, this is the side. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, he fell. She fell. Yeah. You could actually uh, put ladybugs and other things on the branches. Use real branches that normally would have wound up in garbage bags or uh, just laying there decomposing. So that's one thing you can do with branches. This is one of the big eggs that I'm working on. I want to show you the inside of this when you use the newspaper. Um, I actually have cement. <clears throat> so what I've decided is I'm actually going to start making the cement eggs and using those as the uh, inside instead of the newspaper. You can, you can use the newspaper. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, you'll see many other videos where they're using the newspaper. It's just uh, I happen to uh, have a preference when making these eggs. And the inside is going to be cement. Some of them will probably still have the newspaper because I want to continue to do that. Um, but in terms of uh, where I want to go with this, and being, I want to be able to make about uh, mm, at least 50 of these a month. Unpainted, these eggs are going to sell for 30 plus shipping. Um, we have to apply multiple coats to these and even them out. And uh, let's see here. I mean, that's the minimum price. I have to see with the shipping shipping weight. Eventually when I have my store open people will be able to come in and just buy them. So this one's not finished obviously. This will be finished by Friday in terms of its shape. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. Oh, and yeah, I got a basket for eggs. And uh, this is one that I worked on yesterday. Looking a lot better. Let me see if I could take this out. I wasn't going to for the video, but I really should. Okay. Yeah, this is the egg. And as you can see, I worked on the top, making it more oval-shaped. And the bottom part I'm going to have flat, because I want it to be able to sit upright. Look at that, it's already sitting upright. 
So this egg will be done in its shape by Friday, and then I can start doing the uh, artwork on this. This one, I think I'm going to make an Easter egg. We're February, March, April. It's going to be there before we know it. So this one will be probably more like a 45 to $75 project. Depending on the craftsmanship and the level of detail that I put in it. Oh, and it's big too, by the way. Um, putting it next to the big ladybug, you can see it's already 5 inches. And it's going to probably be like 6 inches um, once it's done. This one is going to be a ladybug because it's flat. You see a squeeze on it. I think a few days ago I did a video how to make this more solid using glue and a little elbow grease. So that way when you go to put the layers on, you don't have these pockets in there, which I don't like. Um, and that's why I'm saying I'm going to use the cement on the inside for these larger ones. That'll start next week, maybe even earlier this week. But this one I'll, I'll do the uh, use the paper on the inside like other people are doing. You can see the other videos on YouTube. And this one's going to be uh, Ladybug also. And uh, this, let's see, what else? There's a shamrock around here that I'm making. This is a big shamrock. And this shamrock, I can make all year round, celebrate your Irish heritage. doesn't need to be just St. Paddy's Day. Uh, if you're a bar owner, this could make for a good bar room decor. This is four inches from left to right. and Oh, not from top to bottom. And this is about four and a half also. So I have to let this one dry out which this this side will be dried out, um, I think, by tonight. Because, again, I made this late last night. So this is still in its drying phase. This is uh, not taking any longer than it should to dry. But just like this, it'll be rock solid. And I'm going to be making... Um, something of a shamrock for a garden. I have a lot of uh, indoor, outdoor silver paint. I got like five bottles of these things. Uh, let's see, what is this? Folk art. Sequin silver. And it says, durable, weather-resistant glitter acrylic paint for glass, ceramics, Wood, metal, plastic, fabric, canvas, paper. Shake well, water-based. Clean while wet with soap and water. Well, that's just... Uh... Oh, um, between coats. No, that's just how to clean it after it's done. Let dry one hour between coats. For glass. Oh, wow. Cure. Air dry for 21 days. Do not bake. That's just one. I got like five of those and two other uh, color paint that I didn't know were for outdoor use. So I'm going to make some silver garden bowls too. I see on they're selling online. So this is already starting to dry and turn white like this one here um, makes a huge difference <clears throat> to absorb the moisture away from the uh, item that you're air drying is very crucial. The faster you do it, the more product you'll have and you'll be able to sell faster. I imagine one day when I have a factory I'll have uh, circulating vents, fans blowing, heating systems, commercial ovens. It's going to be a whole big thing. 
maybe even have it all solar run. Pumping out eggs. Um, if I make golden eggs, those are going to sell for $45 plus shipping. No ifs, ands, or buts. They're going to be smooth, rock hard, and very elegant. Just, just having a golden egg to put in your house on a display stand would look nice. Maybe even silver eggs, purple eggs, orange eggs, acrylic pours. That's the other thing I wanted to discuss. Once uh, I'm going to make five eggs with acrylic pours, that'll be a lot of fun. I really can't wait to get those done. Oh, and the other thing is I'm going to be making is uh, smaller eggs. Be like the size of this, but shaped like an egg. Um, those smaller eggs, I haven't priced them out yet, but they probably sell for like $15, $20 each, depending on the design. And I'm going to be uh, making these for the trade. In fact, what I really should do is uh, take three of these and put them up for the trade. Well, t you know, on Artfire you can order uh, 10, 15 of them through my website once I set this up. But you could just message me. All right, this is long enough of a video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, starting hopefully this week, the end of the week, you'll be able to see me as I do the videos, and I'm going to have videos on how to make a lot of this stuff. All right, everyone, take care. And blast of our past, you can find us on Instagram. I just opened the account this year, and we've... Uh, skyrocketed to uh, 1,606 followers and growing. Every week, we're, every almost every day, we're getting new followers in the art industry and people that admire the arts. And if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. We're having an additional 1,300 plus followers for a total combination of 4,000 plus followers. Soon to hit 5,000. Take care, everybody, and remember to support the arts and small businesses. Ciao.